First of all, we'll need an environment. Use one from the asset store. I'm going to use a pig for this experiment. You can download this one from the asset store like I did, or you can 3D scan your mom. Test out the level. Perfect. This is exactly what we wanted. No. Make an animation blueprint. Do all this basic movement stuff you can find in more basic tutorials. What we're mainly focusing on here is making the speed variable. Okay, make a new blend space. Name the horizontal axis direction and the vertical axis speed. Now we search for an idle animation, place it down there at the bottom where the speed is zero. We've brought him to life. Now we search for the walk animation and put it right here where the speed is a little faster. Look at him go. Now put the run animation even higher on the speed axis. Look, he can even tilt in different directions. This is why good animations are important. Oh, and I forgot, we also gotta make the variable for direction and all this code here for calculating the direction. Back into the animation graph. Make a new state machine, locomotion. Pull out that blend space and then whip out those variables and plug them in where Let's they Let's test them out. Oh my God, Piggy can move, but uh, he's, uh, he's clipping through the ground on hills. Okay, here's the part where I gotta do some complicated rotation corrections based on the plane that he's walking on and um, yeah. Without me explaining it too much, you, you can just copy this code directly from here, because uh, that, that's all I did directly from the internet. Here we can see that the pig has learned what to do when it encounters elevated terrain. Mmm, that ass though. Alright, open your walking animation, find the moment your pig's feet touch the ground, right click add notify, new notify, call it piggy footsteps. Okay, then you cycle through, you find the next moment. Right click, add notify, skeleton notifies, and then find that same little piggy footstep we found before. Mwah. Then do the exact same thing in your running animation. Now you're gonna wanna add an event for that animation notify piggy footsteps. You're gonna drag it out to play a sound. Hopefully you've downloaded some like footstep sound effects. You're gonna make a new sound cue and then you're gonna plug them all into this random node so that they play randomly. Oh my God, it works, it's so beautiful. It's just like a real pig. Now you're well on your way to making your very own video game. Maybe it's a massive simulation game where you and all your friends explore what it truly means to be a pig. Or maybe your game is about a dystopic sci-fi future where you play as a pig with a cannon strapped to his back. I don't know, get creative with it.